ready to go? Linz. The impact Tony Mowbray has had on the impact TM Tony Mowbray has had on him as an individual and the squad as a whole. Um, yeah, obviously when the gaffer come in I found myself out of the team and that was quite hard to take and but he always used to, you know, get on to me to work harder and I realised maybe at times I wasn't working hard enough for the team and not only has he done that to me, there's, there's been a number of occasions where players have missed out on not playing because I haven't been doing it on a, on a Saturday and for me that, that sort of gave me the kick up the backside I needed, maybe I was a bit too comfortable being in the squad week in, week out and you know, stuff like that, he's, he's, I think he's made me a better player as well since I've, I've walked through the Dort Rovers. Next question, David. Ask DG, what's the first thing you do when you arrive at the ground on match day? First thing I do is I put my boots in the boot warmer we have. Uh, I go and grab a bottle of water and a banana and normally sit and watch whatever football's on on the early kickoff. Team Mars. Would you rather fight 100 duck sized horses or one horse sized duck? <laughs> Um, I don't really know what to say to that question if I'm perfectly honest. <laughs> so I'm going to, can I pass? I'm sorry, but I'm going to pass. Nathan, who's got the worst and best fashion sense within the team? Ah, oh, brilliant. Uh, worst, Richie Smallwood. Um, some of the tracksuits he comes in and t-shirts, what don't fit. Um, yeah, he by, by far is the worst. The best. Uh, good question, the best. Charlie Mulgrew, I would say. Um, always looks a million dollars. Mr. A, pineapple on pizza. Plenty of pineapple, please. Ian, you are allowed to play one final game before retirement for whom and whom in which stadium? Oh, very good. One final game before retirement, for whom, against whom, in which season? Well, it would have to be for Blackburn. I've enjoyed me, I've enjoyed my time here. Hopefully I can finish my career here. We'll see what happens. Um, against Burnley, in our own backyard. Good answer. Sam Miller. As DG, describe the 2018 promotion party in one word. <laughs> uh, can't remember. <laughs> Molly, as DG. Well, will there be a Blackburn Secret Centre this year? If you could buy a present for Tony Morbitt, what would you get him? Oh my God. How <laughs> am I supposed to answer that? What would I get the gaffer if it was a Secret Centre? No idea. I wouldn't know where to begin with what to buy the gaffer. Maybe he's getting a new contract. Josh. What spice at Nando's? Hot spice all day, every day. Sam. <laughs> My girlfriend fancies you more than me. What should I do? I ain't got an answer for that one. I'm sorry, I'll get in trouble myself. <laughs> oh no, Elliot Bennett. This is not what I want to see. Does the main man have any pre-match rituals? He sticks to one afraid and late. Well, Benson knows this one because he normally brings dinner over on a Friday night for me and Richie Smallwood. Um, we always have the same old food. We have carbonara with some calamari and a garlic bread. And that seems to be working. And that, my friend, is it? Well, past, well, past one. Quarter past one. I might make golf. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Richie's just tweeting it. Ask DG, can you hurry up because we're teeing off before? <laughs> <laughs>